Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. All right. So we have the Empress. Okay, Taurus energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the Six of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Empress. We have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Heavy Taurus energy here. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Swords. Hmm. Clarify the Four of Swords, the Page of Swords in reverse. And we have the Six of Swords in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse. Hmm. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse on the back of the deck. Hmm. Clarify the Empress and the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. See, there's something here. What about the Empress and the Death in Reverse? The Ten of Swords. So, somebody here is walking away from some type of toxic situation to, because we have the King and Queen of Pentacles out here. These two people are supposed to be together. This is a, per this is a match here. This person, but why is the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse though? Maybe someone's trying to walk away from something, but maybe they haven't been able to successfully do so. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? The moon in reverse. Okay, and then what? Or maybe someone has stopped trying to work on something. Somebody's maybe stopped putting work and effort into something because they're realizing that it's never going to have the outcome or that it's never going to be what they want it to be or is just not producing the results that they want it to. Huh, so maybe some type of truth or secret was exposed. Someone has clarity or understanding that something is a blockage for them, that something is like slowing them down, that is an, it's an obstacle for them. It's creating, de it's like a, creating delays for them. Hmm. So yeah, someone's realizing that something is toxic, that they need to leave a situation. Somebody, something is abused, like they need to detach away from something that's never, it's a dead end. It's not gonna or it's gonna keep them at a dead end it's gonna keep them stuck and stagnant some something is also like kind of like keeping somebody like enabling them to like not be motivated or it's it's keeping them from being able to focus on what really matters or what they really want or something like that but somebody is walking away from something walking towards you it's something that's unfulfilling like they're finally moving on from something or they're abandoned they're walking away from something they kind of view you as an unknown but they're walking towards you because they view you as very nurturing and giving and mature and abundant. Hmm. But with this, this empress could literally be someone's mom or it could be someone's like ex, like they're the person that they have children with. But it's like... Somebody has been trying to keep somebody stuck here. This keeps coming through in the collective like the past week or so. But it's 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 like delaying the inevitable. This something is going to come to an end despite someone's efforts to try to keep something from coming to an end. 
Hmm. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Swords. What is this conflict? The Queen of Wands? What about the Queen of Wands? The Chariot in reverse. I told you, there's somebody here that was trying to make somebody miss an opportunity or something like this. There's conflict here over money or what does this have to do with my collective? The t so somebody is wanting to reconcile with you or you're healing. What's this mean for whoever this is? Yeah, somebody, somebody was doubting their intuition here or they were just like running. They were running from this, but they're not happy. They're not happy where they're at. Why were they? Okay, so Queen King of Wands. See, there's like a match here. There's two people that like want the same things or feel the same way or something like that. Desire each other just equally or something like that. But what's the problem here? The four of pentacles. You guys are both holding back or somebody's holding back here. Ten of wands. The five of cups are reversed. Somebody is really struggling to move on from something. Like somebody is having a really hard time releasing something, letting something go. It could be an obligation. It could be whatever it is. Somebody is struggling. And I feel like there's maybe at least one person around them that's not making it easy either for them. But it's like somebody is really having a hard time recovering from something or moving on from something or overcoming some type of grief or negativity. Yeah. But like, what does this have to do with my collective? It's almost like whoever whoever this is, they've been hurt in the past and they're very guarded and protective, but it's also been causing there to be a lack of harmony between the two of you, okay? Their, their, their level of guardedness and whatever, holding back or whatever is going on here. So, let's see. Okay. Um, four of swords. It's like it's almost like somebody withdraws from you, and then when they do speak to you, they make a lot of empty promises or something like that. Somebody knows that you will be a missed opportunity. I do see that. Somebody knows that you will be a missed opportunity, and I feel like they're in this energy where they're very like determined to not let this be a missed opportunity or something like that. Six of swords reverse. There's something that this person is not, they're trying to avoid taking some type of risk and moving on from something here, but it's like, <sighs> return to trouble, unable to move on, running away. They feel stuck somewhere or they're stuck because this person has like a fear of the unknown. It's like this person views you as an unknown. It's almost like this person feels like you're more abundant than they are. This person's starting to step up, though. They're coming through as the King of Pentacles. So it's like they're not quite the Emperor yet, but they're getting somewhere. This person is, like, afraid to take. They're playing it safe because why is the Seven of Swords on the back of the deck, though? Hmm. Yep. What is, why is the Knight of, what is the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands in reverse? See, now we have death in reverse again. Somebody hasn't changed. Be careful with this, guys. Somebody may be coming towards you, but they're still very, they have a lot of delays. They have a lot of blockages. They're still very arrogant. They have a big ego. Yeah, they're still quite reckless and they like to be in control. Okay. So be careful with that because I see that they haven't changed. So what do they need to know about this? Scorpio energy. Nine of cups. What about the nine of cups? The temperance. Sagittarius energy. See, what is that? Independence. What does that do with my collective, though? What does that do with my collective? Yeah, why is there a disharmony here? Seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person wants you to kind of like... Either this person is still investing in something that they need to let go of, or they're wanting you to wait while they're in the process of leaving whatever this devil energy is. Like, 
while they're conquering that or they're walking away from a situation, why are they not just walking away? Because they're scared. It's like they're almost like easing into it. Why are they why are they not walking away? So yeah, ace of wands in reverse. Lack of direction. So this person's still kind of not clear on exactly what they want. They're also a little bit lazy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they're also maybe afraid to have some fears of rejection or abandonment. Tell me more about that. Why is the ace of wands in reverse? The sun? What about the sun? Strength? Leo energy. Strength to what? The Hierophant in reverse. It's like they need they're trying to have the strength to like leave their comfort zone or to like leave behind something like a way that they've done things for a long time. Like it's like they view, yeah, because it's the wheel of fortune is in reverse. Stuck in old cycles, clinging to control. They feel like being with you is like they would have a lack of control or they just don't know what to expect. So they don't know. They don't know exactly what to expect, so they are a little bit hesitant to to go all in with this. I don't know, guys. So let's get some oracle cards to see more of what is going on here. Um, where is that deck that I want to use? There it is. All right, let's see. Knows your worth. So it says treating you right and values you. What does that have to do with anything? Hot and cold. Mixed signals, unstable connection. Okay. So what is this? Knows your worth, hot and cold. That's two conflicting energies. Children involved. You know what I'm getting? I mean, for some of you, there could be children involved, but it's almost like this person does not know how to handle somebody like you. Like they feel like you know your worth. They view you as the empress. They feel like you really know your worth. And like they're sending they're sending you these mixed signals. They're hot and cold with you. Because this person is still very immature. Tell me more about children involved. What does that do with anything? Change of heart, though. Major change in feelings or thoughts. Okay. What about change of heart and children involved? Romantic gestures. There could be something involving children that's giving this person a change of heart when it comes to you. So for some of you, this person needs your help. They need support. Yeah, work and finances. For some of you, it's financial support. What? Anything else? Romance in the workplace. Okay, so what about that? See, they maybe want to work with unhealthy connection. So somebody has an unhealthy connection with somebody that they work with or that they're with because of financial reasons. Shadow work, yeah, somebody needs to, yeah, self-awareness, personal growth, new love, haven't met the one, someone new. What does this mean for my collective? There's someone better, yeah. Taking action. So you're going to be in this energy where you're kind of like opening up to the possibility of being with somebody new and like kind of like you're going, you're going to be like going through a lot of growth or you already are. And it's like you're in this energy where you're starting to feel like, you know what, I'm going to keep my options open. Like, I feel like there's someone better out there for me. Like, I don't want, this isn't healthy, what me and this person got going on. And I just feel like maybe I haven't met the one. I thought they were the one, but I'm not sure anymore. Now somebody wants to make a move here. Making a move, progress, yes. Now they want to make a move, but what did I just see? I don't know what, can't be trusted, yeah. So Spirit says this person has a hidden agenda. Lies, selfish intentions. What is the hidden agenda? Thinking of calling. Okay, but what are they hiding? What are they trying to hide here? Call or text. You're definitely going to hear from this person. What are What is their hidden agenda? Hidden agenda, lies, selfish intentions. What is that about? Suffering in silence. Putting up a front. What are they hiding? Rushing into love. They're going to try to rush you into something. I've been picking up on this for a minute. For some of you, it's because they feel like you are keeping your options open or you have other options. They're wanting to kind of rush you into something because they don't want you moving on. What is the hidden agenda? Making it official. Yeah, so someone's going to be coming in saying that they want to be serious with you. They don't want to play games anymore. They want to be committed to you. But there's, yeah, they may even come in and say, like, I'm sorry or I, I regret, blah, blah, blah. But what's there? Something's not right because I saw in the back of the deck. 
thoughts of marriage. But see, we have playing the field on the back of the deck, feeling abandoned. Somebody feels like you're abandoning them because they feel like you're keeping your options open. Like somebody's going to feel some type of way that you're not like going all in with them or something like that. What are they hiding from my collective? Give me more clues worth waiting for. See, this person wants you to wait on them. This person is trying to get you to wait while they, I don't know, they heal. They know that they, they're they not ready for a relationship. They're not ready. They're only able to have some surface level with you. But it's like they want to make some type of effort, but this person definitely does want to sleep with you too. They're thinking of you sexually, but this person knows that they're not ready to, to, to have the type of dynamic with you that you desire. But this person is feeling like, okay, well, I'm working on it. I'm leveling up. I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to get to a point where I can't open up and be more emotionally available for the collective, but I'm not there yet. And I, I feel like I know that if I miss there, I know that there's competition. Yeah, five of swords, ace of pentacles. I know that there's a good possibility that I'm about to lose the collective to this competition, these other options. And I know that losing the collective is a big loss. I know that will be a missed opportunity. All right. I know that the, the collective is the one will be the one that got away. So this person, like I said, they're going to come out of they've been in this hermit mode or whatever. They've been kind of withdrawn. You guys probably have not been speaking. They're going to try to keep you from moving on because they're still afraid. It also is that they're not really emotionally available, but it's also they're still scared of this. Like they're still not 100% ready to like go all in with this. They still view the situation with you as risky. So they're kind of trying to like keep you where they want to keep you until they have the courage and they're healed enough to be able to have this with you. But that's not fair. So that's what the hidden agenda is, guys. It's like this. Per I don't know. This person looks like they're coming in and they're making some big promises to you, but there's a hidden agenda. Like this person knows that they can't give you everything that you desire or what you need at this time they they hope to be able to do it one day but they know that they can't do it right now for some of you they still have something toxic that they need to walk away from i don't really i haven't really got a good read on that yet but there's something that they're codependent on or that they're still dealing with it could be for financial reasons i don't know exactly um it could be somebody that they work with that they're still dealing with but there is something um, that they still need to, you know, detach from. And they're very well aware that it's something that's toxic and that they need to let go of. Okay, guys, I definitely see that here. So, but it's like, they're like doing it at their pace. They want to, it's like, they want this on their terms. We have healing. So yeah, they are healing, guys. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. We have wishing well. There's a lot of excitement in the air. You awakened a new life in them. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Excuse me. It's almost like this person feels like when they met you, it's like they never thought that they could have the life that they, they envisioned with you. Like they never thought they would have the opportunity to have that with somebody. But yeah divinely guided you have met your divine flame just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing we have the gods favor you yeah things are turning in your favor now is the time your prayers have been heard and you will succeed and be vindicated vindicated so whatever it was that you were hoping to happen between you and this person it does look like that will be happening or that it will be if you still want it it says divine truth. We are hoping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. I think I already mentioned that. Yeah, this is somebody that's about to come in and start competing for you or fighting for you because they're discovering something. They're awakening to something here. This person is starting to realize that they really did you dirty, like, or they're going to. What is, what is the, this divine truth here? What is the divine truth? Build it. Oh, see. They see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love. So that's what they're starting to see. And what does that mean for their connection with my collective spirit? Battle of the wits. So, yeah, stuck in a loop. So you and this person both have issues with vulnerability to some degree. Or now it's kind of like yeah, you put your guards up, they're guarded. Now it says until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this will continue to be a battle. We have stuck in a loop. A pattern has become familiar to them and they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. It's like this person doesn't want to be emotionally avoidant anymore. 
breakthrough. So yeah. So if you feel like you want somebody to just keep repeating a cycle over and over again, there's going to be a breakthrough. Like that's going to be changing. It says they are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon, but we have exhausted. See, this is the problem though. Why did this person, this person keeps coming toward you. See, this person's been trying to stay away from you or they, they, they are well aware that you, they, that you guys need to stay away from each other right now or that separation is probably the best thing because it says they're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there's nothing to give. Yeah, they know that as long, like for right now, all they're going to, they're going to be very inconsistent with you. And they know it says their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful relationships. So until they heal, they're not going to be able to form, have this with you. They may desire this power couple dynamic with you. They see the potential of what the two of you guys can have. And they're hopeful that they will get to that point. But yeah, and if this was somebody that was a player, they don't want to be a player anymore. But they're kind of feeling like they did. What did they? Yeah, though they never had you to them, you will always be the one that I told you. You, you, they know you will be the one that got away. They don't even want to entertain other options anymore. But this person is coming towards you to ask for another chance. But just know that this is the energy that they're coming towards you in. And I don't think that they're going to be being completely upfront, honest with you about this. So it says there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. They know that they have a lot that they still need to handle and get sorted out before the two of you guys can be that power couple dynamic. But it's like they keep coming towards you with all this baggage and then with and knowing that they don't have the ability to have what it is that they promise you or whatever. But <sighs> so that's the hidden agenda. It's, this person is trying to keep you stuck until they get their shit together but it's just it's not fair yeah it's like they're trying to find the courage here it says willingness to confront agony pain danger uncertainty or intimidation you intimidate this person you scare this person they feel like you're an unknown all that is scaring this person strength to venture and persevere persevere and withstand danger fear or difficulty that's what they're trying to do anything else spirit let's do a couple of these and then i'm going to take this over to the extended Yep, I told you. See, this person tries to stay away from you, but then it gets to a point where they can't to help themselves. And it's because they are literally, they're very attracted to you. Because I did see on the back of the deck that finds you attractive card. So it says, I can't help but want you physically, sexually, and mentally. So it's like when they start getting that itch, that's probably when they cave and they come towards you. But this person's manipulative. They don't come towards you honest. Like, hey, I'm just letting you know, like, I don't have my shit together, but you know, they it, then they know that you deserve better than that. They, they, can, they don't feel comfortable coming towards you and being like, Hey, I don't, I still don't have my shit together and I can't give you what you want, but I, I want to sleep with you. So how do you feel about that? They don't, they know you will not go for that or they know that you don't, you deserve better than that. So instead of just being blunt and honest with you, they're just like, they try to come in and promise you all these things and make you think, oh, that things are going to be different, blah, 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 blah. And, then, and they know that they can't do that. We have family ties. Did I even read the rest? It says, I can't help but want you physically, sexually, and mentally. You're all I think about when I'm alone and lost in my thoughts. The thought of you drives me insane. See, we have family ties here. See, this is, for some of you, it's that they, they need to cut off toxic family members or they have a family with somebody and they need to get that situation sorted out. But it says, takes each other for granted, stops learning from one another, stuck spiritually, helps each other grow, not only as individuals, but as spiritual beings. So like, for, like I said, for some of you, it's their family. It's like their husband or their wife where it's like they're not supposed to, it's like they, the spark is gone. They've learned as, much, as many lessons as they're supposed to from each other, but the, now it's like got, getting to the point where like it's, it needs to be done and it's just keeping them stuck now. But, or if it's, it, or it's for some of you, it's family. Yeah, but some of you, they do have a karmic partner. It says, I know I am settling if I'm not with you, but I feel I am stuck because I'm afraid of change. I'm used to what I have, even if it's not enough for me. I'm working on feeling deserving of you. Yeah. So this person feels like wherever they're at, they're settling. They're not really happy there, but they're just dealing with it because they don't feel good enough for you yet either. They don't, they're, you're, they're still afraid to take this leap of faith on you and yeah, and exercise their free will. But it says independently taking action regardless of the effects. So it looks like they're going to step into that energy, having the capacity to make their own decisions without constraints from others. Give me more clarity on family ties. See, yeah, attached. So some of you, this person's married 
or they're in another commitment or they have some type of karmic ties or responsibilities. It says afraid of the unknown, karmic ties and responsibilities in a committed relationship with someone else. Okay, so triggered. What about triggered for Leo? People, places remind them of you, panic. It's like they're with somebody else, but they're still heavily emotion. They're very emotional when it comes to you. You made them feel something else that they've never felt with whoever these other people are a person is. Yeah, and it says, I want to take action towards you. I want to be want to talk with you, be with you, and feel you. Please be patient, my love. I will come back to you in divine timing. Sentimentality. Having a hard yeah, they're having a hard time letting go of something here. And it's like, yeah, regret. Winter, though. We have winter. This person is going to start chasing you in the winter time. But the problem with this person, too, is that they're kind of, like, going to be playing victim a little bit. Because, like, they're going to start chasing you. And it looks like you guys may be running. I don't know. Because it says, I don't know what I did to push you away. Was it something I did? Was it something I said? You told me you loved me. That's probably what this person is going to be saying to you. Like, you said you loved me. And now you don't, you're not answering me. Or you're not talking to me. And. Yeah, you never felt this way before. Then why did you leave me? What? They're going to be in ring. What is that about? I don't. What does that have to do with Leo? We need to let go of our issues and work through our struggles by recognizing what went wrong and how we played a part in it. See, this is what this person needs to do. They need to stop blaming you and acting like they don't know why you're, you're whatever. You're cutting them off. You're walking away, whatever it is. And they need to really take accountability for some things here. They need to really t reflect and see what, how they sabotage this, how their how they, they what their part was in sabotaging this. I love you too much to let you go. Let's start anew. This person's not going to be able to move on from you, so they are going to start chasing you. Yeah, it says I'm trying to reinvent myself and release the old me. I took you for granted, disappointed you, and deserted you when you needed me the most. I want to come back stronger so I can build something better with you. Yeah, juggling, inner turmoil. Yeah, having too much on their plate. I don't really know if it's like, they definitely have a lot on their plate. I'm just not really sure what it is exactly. They're confused. They have a lot of obligations. 